And this is where it hits the fan. Sound design is great, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. What are you guys doing? Where are you at? Cool, they went after my decoy boxes. That worked out good, right? Where I th was open. Let's try the hidey hole. Those spikes are hitting him. It hurt. Maybe I'm even better with a pistol. When you get them down in these nights, just make sure they're down. It's easier to hit them while they're down. Or, or double check and see if your experience goes, but when you're on your own server, that's tough. Step up on your buddy. So far, so good. shotgun here yeah let me try this real quick how does this work slow but I mean this is so effective at short range I was talking about building this on my other server with my friends and it I'm not afraid down here. This works pretty good. And my other server, I'm a heavy, so I wouldn't even mind being a little closer to the front lines. Double tap, remember? Ooh, that one scared me. Very effective the way to use your bullets. Knock them down and then make sure you get them in the head. It 
What are you doing? I don't like what you're doing there. For, you've been there too long. Oh boy. Yeah, that spike still hurt him. That's nice. See, those spikes hold up for quite a while, and they're messing with that guy, right? Man, thank goodness I did the, the brick wall upgrade, huh? I'm just using these shotgun shells that I found and are laying around. And he, boy, he was not happy about that. Did you see him look up at me? Don't, I don't like you looking at me. this works nice hell yeah that worked awesome oh that double tapping <laughs> They're somewhere. Oh, there they are. See how they'll use each other to like, get up the hill? They get towards you? And those red eye guys, those are tough guys. They're early like mini bosses. It's the glowing ones that you really gotta watch out for. Just being a high fortitude character, this is the one I should be going after this weapon right now. What are you trying to get up on me, punk? That probably be my nose head damage. Oh boy, well, that's why. Bummer. That still worked. That's fantastic. So slow of rate of fire. Keep on cutting, don't they? Oh, 
Uh oh, something just broke. Whew. Might have been one of my, my pillars. Come here. Holy cow, did I do it? Holy crap. bags just do not last long very so even though I got dropped a lot of them Ooh. well I made it folks that so the cage worked pretty good those decoy pillars worked better than I even expected Looks like they definitely did some damage. But because I had so much of a structure here, that worked pretty good. The only damage I took was running into spikes. that right now Don't need these anymore. Won't need to put them up again. They did, obviously did not even try to come up here. Which is what we were hoping for. Looks like we got a treasure map. That's nice. Found a little more, a few more bullets. Looks like we got some food and... Not much else loot goes. Not much at all. Got some brass for more bullets. I mean, that's nice. Well, that was awesome. I actually survived. A few bullets left, even. It was pretty intense, though. Let's see what we gained for levels. Anything? Oh, yeah. Wow. We gained five levels. That's amazing. All right, well, since we're going to a fortitude build, let's pump up some fortitude points. And that should unlock my last level of farmer, which is awesome. I would really like this next level of healing here right now. I think it's cool. Since I just survived, we'll take 
actually, you know what we should do is maybe got two points left. Let's put them into this. This kind of saved our butt. One of those. One of these. Since that's our main build right now, we're trying to be the brawler. And because I have such a good fortitude, that machine gun worked out really good. I think that might have been my best weapon going forward. Maybe pistol back up. Well, very cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching and seeing if I survived my first single-player Blood Moon in Seven Days to Die. I seen, think my cage here design works pretty good, with the exception of you can fall yourself. So I might need to work on that a little bit, but this setup of an upper cage and coming down into our lower cage that's separated from my main tower... No one ever seemed to track over here. There's barely... Doesn't even look like there's a lot of damage. A little bit. Nothing. And they didn't even attack this, my equipment pillar very much. And that's because there was no way to track over to the building I was in. Where they were attacking. You can see they were doing a bunch of damage here on the walls. But they actually were attacking the decoys quite a lot which was very cool to see and they did a good number on the spikes but they didn't even damage it that much so this build worked out pretty good I gotta say pretty happy with it well thanks for watching everybody I'm Red the Casual Gamer you know which buttons to push if you like this video have yourself a good one we'll see you next time